In this video, we will be making mixed media accordion books. And these are the supplies that you will need for the workshop. And then this is the way that you want to fold the book. So you've got a long piece of paper and then you're gonna fold it in half. And then you're gonna take one of the ends and fold it back so that it matches the half fold. And then you're gonna take the other end and fold it back. So it makes this little book. And so I wanted to start off by showing some examples of some books that I've got. So I do a lot with paper and then I add pockets to them. I got some paint on that, but that's okay. And then on this side, I did watercolor paper and I also added little pockets. And then this is a really long one. I actually glued two different folded pieces of paper together to make it longer. And then of course I added pockets on this too. That's one of my favorite things to do. And so I did get some paint on this. I wasn't sure of the color I was gonna use for the background, but now I guess uh, the decision was made for me. So I'm gonna do some purple. And I'm gonna start off just by painting a background color. So I'm gonna get that whole side covered up. And then this is one of my favorite techniques to do. Um, it's just kind of pulling away some of the paint. So I just put a scrap piece of paper over the paint and pull it off. And then I let it dry a little bit. And what I'm gonna do now is another technique that I like to do. Um, I would just let it dry for maybe like 30 seconds to a minute. But uh, I'm gonna grab another scrap piece of paper. I'm gonna choose a different color, preferably a lighter color than the base background color that you did. And you're just gonna place paint on the scrap paper, not too, too thick. And then you're gonna lay it over the surface, face down, and then pull the paper away. And just do this in different areas. And I'm kind of just building a background by layering paint. So there's that. And then I'm gonna find some pieces of collage paper for pockets and then also to add to the background. And so this piece of paper has the purple and light blue and that was totally on accident. I didn't mean for that to happen, but that worked out really well. And so now I'm just kind of trying to figure out where to place the pieces of paper on the book. I'm kind of getting an idea of how it will look. Okay, that rhymes. So now I'm gonna start placing the glue on the back of the paper and I'm using tacky glue um, that tends to work well and then I'm using a credit card or part of a credit card uh, to distribute the glue evenly and I'm just gonna press down and since it's on the fold um, you'll want to just keep pushing down and then folding pushing down and folding so that it gets um, on the fold really well 
and so it adheres and becomes part of the fold. And throughout the time that you're making the book, you'll want to keep folding it and shaping it so that the folds stay uh, where they are pretty well. And then now I'm adding pockets. So I'm taking some other small pieces of collage paper and I'm shaping them and figuring out where I want the pockets to be. And I need to figure out what part I want open. So I'm gonna glue down the left side and the bottom. So I just flip the paper over, put a line of glue in the areas that need to be glued down and not open. it where I wanted it and I'm going to push down really really hard on the, the parts where the glue is and I might have to move it a little but you'll just want to keep pushing down really really hard And then another thing I like to do to make sure that the pocket holds shape while it's drying is to place something in it. So I put a magnet in it, but you could just put a simple piece of paper inside. It just needs to be able to hold the shape while the glue dries. And so now I'm gonna do the other pocket and I'm just trying to figure out where I want it and how much I might need to cut off if at all so I will cut a little bit off this so it doesn't cover that other piece of paper too much I'm gonna kind of round the top part And I'm gonna do the same thing. Just gonna flip the paper over, put a line of glue on the parts that I want closed off. You don't actually need too much glue and just make sure that it's a thin line. Just gonna flip it back over and then do the same thing press down really hard throw in a piece of paper so it holds shape while it dries to this pocket and just make sure that that's done and dry and so here um, I have some small thin pieces of paper that are similar to the other pieces of paper that I glued down on the folds so I'm just gonna take these and I'm actually gonna fold them over the top and glue them down and I don't know what I'll do with the other side yet. I might paint over those papers where it's folded on the other side or I might just paint around them. And so now I'm gonna do a pocket on the side and I'm gonna add glue to more areas 
I just need one side to be open. So I'm gonna add a line of glue to the top, one of the sides, and then the bottom. And then I'm just gonna turn it over and place it in the middle. And when I say middle, I just mean, you know, I mean, it's all, it's at the end, but it's kind of in the middle of the edges. And so I'm just pressing down where the glue is. And it's okay if glue kind of gets outside of the paper. I'm pretty sure it will. You just have to wipe it away. And then I'm doing the same thing with the magnet, putting it inside the pocket so it holds shape while it dries. And you might have to go back and forth and keep pressing it down. But this is the finished product. Um, this is a simple way to do this. And a lot of people like to use these kind of as travel journals just to put um, like memorabilia in, like tickets, plane tickets. And then um, I personally like to make tiny cards with words and then put them in the pockets and just kind of have them around my apartment. And so thank you for stopping by and there will be more videos uploaded to this channel soon.